In this video, we're gonna look at loading your logos and giving your account details in. We're gonna have a look at getting users added to your BuildExact account, as well as managing your BuildExact subscription. To do all of this, we're going to head into the My Business area, and specifically, first of all, the Business Details section. Now, in short, everything you put in here will go somewhere. Uh, so hence, it's a really good first step to set up in a new account. As far as making changes, you're simply going to this blue edit pen and changing whatever you need. A note specifically for this registered email is this is the main email for your account. So this item is the only thing on the screen that you can't actually change and you'll need to contact our support team if you do wanna make a change to this. But you'll be making whatever changes you need and hitting save. You'll be able to update things like your email, your logos, your phone numbers, your ABN, even down to things like your locale, which is where in the world you're based, and uh, your default invoice days. What I'm gonna do now is put in a logo, and I just wanna point out one thing before I do, these brand colors, uh, we're gonna come back to them in a moment because these will be automatically set as we load our logo. So I've already got my large logo in, and I'm gonna add the small one using this up button here. I'm gonna go grab my small format logo. If you don't have a large and a small, don't stress about it, just put the same one in for both. And it'll grab it, pop it in, and you'll notice it's now reset my colors based on that logo I just loaded. A very common question we get uh, from this page specifically is from people who have updated uh, their gallery images and their brand colors, and they've then gone, had a look around their BuildExact account, and they can't find where these have gone, um, so where they're showing. The easy answer to this is the gallery and the brand colors are only gonna be visible through the client portal, or to say it another way, they'll only be visible uh, to the client's side of your project should you wish to open that up. So easy answer to that one. Again, very key step uh, to fill this out because if you don't, a lot of the documents we produce will be rather empty and uh, rather boring. I'm gonna go into users now and we're gonna look at how to add extra users. Now, depending on whether you're trialing or whether you're on a paid account, you will have a different number of, of seats or spots that you can add people to. So for a trial like I've got, it's 10 people and um, Depending on how many you've got here, it'll depend on how many times you can click this plus button. So I'm gonna click it here, enter in first name, last name, email, and phone number, and what that will do is send a invite off to the, the person I want in, and that will then have them uh, set up a password and give them access. If you do max out the number of people you can add to your account, uh, so let's say you've got a pro account and you add two people, uh, you can still use this plus button, but what it'll do instead is advise you how much uh, an extra user costs uh, to add, and it's a monthly charge uh, on your account. Speaking of uh, subscriptions and costs on your account, if I go to subscriptions, this will be two things, again, depending on whether you're trialing or whether you have an account with this already. So first of all, if you are trialing, it will look like this. It will ask you uh, which subscription you wanna go with. So different subscriptions have different features in them. You can choose how many users you want. Uh, and yeah, you can basically choose uh, the pack that you wanna go with. If you already have a, a subscription with us, this page will be more used by you uh, to let's say upgrade your plan or uh, export the invoices uh, for your subscription should you need to do that. So in that case, you'll be more using it to manage the subscription you already have. Lovely, so that's how to get your account set up and manage your users and subscriptions.